welcome dear learner of senior secondary level in painting course today we are going to study something about the still life drawing or which is called also object study for object study you can choose and pick up few things from your household it could be a flower vase a book utensil teapot anything that you find around so here we have chosen one flower vase and a book it is placed on a table flat table with black drapery on it the artist now have to first make a layout this is very important when you are painting or drawing anything first thing you have to know what space and how much space you are given to use she is now working on a, a quarter sheet and that is the space she has with her and to adjust the flower vase and the book within this particular space is very important one should not feel that this space is useless you, you can cut it off it is unnecessary for this reason you have to use the whole space that's given to you but one thing you should remember the objects should be in such a way that the weight and the mobility or anything that is in your mind should be intact in it now you watch carefully first she has made a frame of the same shape of the paper and then there is two lines with a point in the middle that she can easily understand where to put the drawing of the flower vase and then with the axis line she has drawn to give the uh, two sides build absolutely same and then at the bottom there is a book here so the perspective is more important when you drawing a square thing or a book so when we are going to the main drawing then i will explain how to use the perspective of a book now she will start shifting this layout on the main paper which she will color now to get the exact measurement or the proportion of the objects to be shifted on the larger paper again she has used this lines finding the middle point of the objects after determining that she is doing light drawing of the book because on this the whole thing is placed whole thing i mean the flower vase which is more colorful than the book itself notice the lines the lines in the foreground and background on the side all the vertical lines are always parallel this is this this they are all parallel but the lines going far from the foreground to the background so supposed to be meet somewhere in the end to a vanishing point where two lines the distance meet we call it a vanishing point so you can imagine a vanishing point of these two lines suppose here so these two are supposed to meet here that means the vertical line of the foreground will be larger than the uh, vertical line in the uh, background the same system 
will be used in all these. And then you join the top part of the uh, square book or the rectangular book as it is. It is always better you complete the bottom thing. So, you can get the actual shape of the uh, lower thing. So, here she has done it on which so she will draw the flower bus and she will erase it. So, that the line will continue rightly in the middle point. Now, she is working on the flower bus and the structure can be divided into three parts of this flower bus. One, it is bulbous lower part, then the narrow tube like thing on the top of it which is little narrowed on that top and then the mouth of the jar or the flower bus it is much smaller than the bottom. So, here we see how craftfully she is using her pencil first light points are made the flow of line should be fluid and will move towards the bottom and do not forget to keep the symmetrical form of the two side. This is very important. So, the basic drawing is complete and since she is going to color it, do not make drawing very dark. So, use HB pencil softly. On the contrary, when you are doing in pencil sketch or pencil drawing, you can use 2B or 6B, but when you are uh, doing in color, so it is always better you use either HB or 2H, which is much hard in quality and it just give such sign on the paper. Now, the drawing is complete. Now, she will be doing the floral design on the flower bus itself. When you are doing the design on the flower bus itself, the rectangles or what the, the square, the basic of the designs here will change from top to bottom and from the both side since the projection of the bulbousness is coming out and the slope of the two sides are going back. Uh, for this reason, the de design also has been distorted due to this perspective. Now, she will complete roughly the basic design uh, that is almost a diamond shape. And when she is doing it, it she is taking care how the narrow neck of the flower bus is distorting the design of the two sides due to perspective. Then the, there is a white band which is separating the upper part from the lower part. The design actually has only three colors. One is ultramarine blue, then sap green, and then brown. The design is more visible on the top part of it, while uh, lower part almost invisible due to its bottomness and also 
due to the light is mostly falling from top. In fact, source of the light is from the top mostly, though there are some light in the two sides also, but main focus is from the top. So, the upper part of the flower vase is more lighted and the designs are clearly visible on this part and the colors are also brighter on the top rather than in the bottom. The book is rectangular in shape and on the top of the book the cover has some colors very faint pink and brownish and with white lettering on that. But the two sides that is visible. One side is little darker than the other side that gives you the sense of perspective as well as heaviness of the book itself. Since it is rested on a black platform, so the whiteness is accentuated much more in this case. So, there is a perfect harmony. You can see the lower part is dark, then the book is lighter, then the flower verse itself is colorfully dark and the top again is white. So, it is a perfect choice of the object that is done by the artist itself. So, when you choose your objects, make it a point that each object should be somewhat related to the other and the color scheme could be adjusted like that. So, the basic drawing of the motif or the design is done. Now, the detail of the design, the leaf like form of green and a uh, diamond shape of brown on the surface of ultramarine blue. When you choose an object or still life from your household, always remember the shapes of the objects are pleasing and also they are compatible with other objects that you have chosen. Now, the forms here basically one circle, one tube and one rectangle. And the chosen objects are actually very much related to each other as all the colors that I have just explained are related and giving the object a beauty in the same way we will find the colors are also should very much compatible to each other. There are different ways or different medium you can use for still life. It is not necessary that always you have to use colors. You can use simple pencil. For that you need only four pencils, HB, 2B, 4B and 6B. Beside the pencil, you can also use crayon and charcoal. I would not prefer you to use charcoal in the beginning because it is a little messy, but uh, crayon you can always use, but the best result in the beginning will get with the pencils. So, try first with the pencils and then you move to colors. Now, in case of colors, there are two options are very much popular. One is the poster color which is opaque and you can use directly with brush on that in a very thick and opaque manner. This poster color has one advantage. If there is any mistake by chance, you can always amend it. You can cover the part with thick color and repaint again without any problem. 
but unless you are very good in handling watercolor which is transparent in nature it is very difficult to complete a work because if there are any mistake done you cannot amend it ever so you have to start anew the whole thing so my advice for the learners that you first start with pencil work then with opaque um, poster color and if you want to use canvas you can use also acrylic color and the cheaper version of the acrylic you can get in the febicryl which is generally the same quality of acrylic only in cheaper rate now you watch the material she has brought with her to paint she is going to do it in poster color in tempera technique that means opaque technique she has few bottles of colors then seven eight pencils and a lot of brushes of different number the brushes when you choose you have to careful because brush is a very important component of a painting when you put it in water and try to bend it it should not it will come back to its shape like a spring so you can understand it's a good brush then the tip of the brush is also important so before you buy a brush take care to test it dipping it in the water and just pull the hair of the brush and see whether it is coming back to its own position for brush i will add advice in the beginning not to go for many uh, gradually when you will be more matured you can buy a lot of brushes but in the beginning you just four brushes will be enough for you number 10 the broadest one then number 8 number 4 and number 2 if you want to do very fine small a uh, still life or object drawing you can also use number 1 or 02 brushes but in the begin i don't think it is necessary because you do it in quarter sheet brush that you can move your hand more easily in this size it's neither very big nor very small for the beginner